Carry forward there by Menoncello. Menoncello, another player, is really impressed for his club this season. There's a penalty advantage now being played to Italy. England coming offside. Some great shapes. Italian record in the championship as well. So Damaso Allen. Straight through the sweet spot. All being presented by the captain Lamoro. Nacho Prex releases it. Now there's a real chance. Canoni and on there too. Alessandro Garbisi, and that is the first try of the match. The referee said the ball went forward off the knee. There may well be a second look at that. But Alessandro Garbisi, who played for Italy two years ago in the under-20 international of a Treviso, when it Italy's under-20s beat England for the first time. I wonder, could this be the start of something special? I don't know whether it's gone to the team over, but again, it's some fantastic break right at the moment, right at the middle. Couldn't quite see there, did it hit his knee? The referee is in the correct position. There's one Garbo, Garbrisi. Big carry, beautiful, but at the ball. It's Lorenzo Canoni again, absorbing one tackle off May. Daly. Oh, one of the England success stories from the World Cup. Referee's playing an advantage here to England. Free play. Italy are flying up their line speed. He's outstanding at the moment. Not giving England any chance whatsoever. Stopping the distribution. Well, in off the cushion from Ford. We were with Italy and Kieran Crowley. So continuity important there for Casada. Here goes Ethan Roots. Roots a man with uh, a Maori tattoo all the way down his back. Was wearing a, was a, a red rose on his chest. Sorry, man, oh, a breakthrough! And this is superb from Freeman. And Freeman offloads to Daly. And Daly gets the try. Tommy Freeman playing for England for the fourth time. Hasn't been involved since Eddie Jones' last game in charge against South Africa more than a year ago. But playing a decisive role there in setting it up for Daly. I was trying to get him on, I apologise for that because this is one excellent carry from Ethan Root. That's what he was brought in this team to do. Probably got three, maybe four metres more than he should. Again, that's a lovely little pass out there. And Daly's going to finish every time. A good response from England. Freeman coming off his wing, giving an option. He may not receive that ball, he did receive it. And then he's just distributed it straight to Daly. A good combination of right wing to left wing, coming off the wings. Stewart there with a big pass. He's read it superbly well. Again, ridden the tackle, as Canoni did for that Italian score. Negri taking it into the contact. As Paolo Garbisi breaks again, he's got wonderful hands. Now the space, and there are men. And here goes Menoncello. Inside. That is wonderful. Quite brilliant rugby. And it's Tommaso Allen who gets the score to become Italy's record try scorer in rugby's greatest championship. Try number eight. And that man played such a role, Tommaso Menoncello. Absolutely superb rugby from the gods here. It's just good depth. That's what's done this try. Depth, depth, depth. I keep saying you cannot be too deep. You just let that guy in front make that decision. And then Thomas Allen underneath the post. He's just shredded England's midfield. Mitchell. Now England. There's a gap opening. Can they exploit it? The power of Freeman. They're looking for quick ball, they get it. 
Italy on defensive duties, Mata Itoji within a metre and a half. Mitchell just getting pushed out of the way. Will Stewart wants to have a go, and the ball's gone forward, and Italy survived, however. The referee was playing a penalty advantage. A few months of his time with the England setup, and George Ford. No problems that time. Nine of this England 23 have no involvement in France. Mitchell off the outside of his left foot there. Referee though playing an advantage. Well, once again, just flirting a little bit with that right hand upright, but it's now three from four. Away five! Yeah, ball's there. Mitchell chooses to work the short side, sees a chance, sees a gap. He's still going, is Mitchell. Mitchell, has he got there? The referee says he has. Not holding the tackle, so it's good. And that's why you pick on form. Northampton Saints, top of the table in the Prem. You've got guys like that. Calling the shots, pulling the shots, whatever you want to do. He never gave up there. He could see the gap on that blind side. That's instinctive scrum half play. Look at him, he's looking, looking, scanning, scanning. George Ford gives him an option. Inside he doesn't need, he just keeps his legs pumping. For the first time Italy don't scramble that defence. They don't make those tackles. They've been so good at that was the one. He's allowed to get up, the tackle was not made. Just there. Joe Marler doing it for the 89th Good. time for England. So that's a sensible Five. option. But Mitchell's just got a ball and just rolls it into the eight's feet and Seven. off he goes. You know, oh. Doesn't have to damage his back at all. 28 minutes remaining. Valid. England have the lead. They also have the penalty advantage now and it's gone against Yasui Zalocki. Italy do have a 6-2 split on the bench, but they make four alterations there now. And George Ford adds another three, and it's... And three points here from Allen. Would make it a four-point ball game going into the last 20 minutes. Oh, he's pushed it. His first miscue of the day. Would you believe it? There's Ford. Sees a bit of space out wide. It's there for Elliot Daly. Rex comes across, but there is no advantage. So England's blood pressure can just drop a little bit. Well, the officials looking here at the screen. Puts his foot out. It's number 11 white. Right now. No, no, you clearly put a foot out to trip him, it's yellow card. Paul, the marker's on the 50 metre line, five metres in. Lost now, boys. Okay. Nacho Brex, Ioani. The tackle there from the player of the match, but Ioani's still going, and Ioani's away! And the Italians are going to get their foot. His eighth try in his last nine test matches. Well, you've got to say they deserve that. They've come out fighting, they've come out and shown their colours. England have come back and been the more controlled, but again, they deserve a point, I'll say that. Possibly more, but you are in there, the Lyon flyer. It means a lot to this side. They've taken a lot of battering. The results haven't gone their way, but they've showed their fall. They've fought all the off this afternoon to get in a position, yes, they just come away with one point, but they've never given up. This is the new Italy, and so may it continue. That's just strength, that's just power. After 80 minutes of snapping rugby union, he can just stop that down. Watch this, this is absolute desire. You ain't gonna get me, you ain't gonna stop me. I'm doing this for me mates. Well, if the Italians are looking for crumbs of comfort, encouragement even, they will look at it and say, well, we scored more tries today than England.